6.06. Wake up. Day five of the 12 week transformation. I wish there was a shorter word for transformation. It's such a long transformation. I don't should even spell that out. Transformation. But this is day five. Yesterday was my off day. It was actually kind of a, a helpful off day. Typically on my off days, I'm pretty antsy to get back in the gym. Today is gonna be leg day. Ta da! I mean, I should put a little leg day right where my finger is. Leg day. What makes my leg day a little different than going in the gym for years and years and years and years is I don't do uh, squat or deadlift. <sighs> I know. The reason why I don't do squat and deadlift is because I have not done squat and deadlift for years. So unless I had somebody to really teach me how to do it properly, I'm not gonna do it. So that's my take on it. I see too many guys, especially my age, I'm 35, try to get underneath the squat bar and pretend they're 21 years old and start stacking on weight. They go all the way down, they go too low, or they don't go low enough, and next thing you know, they're either blowing out their knee, fucking up their back, uh, but it's not because I can't handle the bar on my traps. Have you seen these traps? I'm going to talk about creatine. I never really got into using creatine monohydrate in the late 90s when it became super popular. And the reason why is I kind of felt like anything that demanded a loading phase, especially twice or three times the amount of serving for like five to seven years kind of threw up a, a, a big red flag in my head as far as being a marketing scam. I got started on uh, concrete, which actually the first time I got on creatine was because of, like I told you on day two, that I'm a big fan of Jim Stepani's uh, Jim Pre and Jim Post. Now, when I was, I started off using Jim Post. Jim Post had two grams of creatine HCl, which is hydrochloride. And the reason why I got into using hydrochloride versus using creatine monohydrate was because when you use hydrochloride, the, the good thing about it is it breaks down really, 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 really easily in water and it becomes much more easy for your body to absorb. Now, I know there's a lot of different opinions about does one work better than the other? And I'm not, I don't, I'm not smart enough to explain that. But what I can tell you is this much. My power has gone out of the roof. At 35 years old, I don't know what my testosterone levels are at, but I have played around with testosterone boosters. I have played around with altering my fats to see if I can increase my testosterone. I have played around with different pre-workouts, played around with different uh, intro workouts. And up until I started using creatine HCL, I haven't had the kind of response as I had lately. And it's interesting because just in the last month, it's really started to take off where I've been able to have a lot more endurance, a lot more explosive power. And I don't attribute that to making all my personal records to be what they are, but I do realize it has made a big difference. So I'm not trying to tell you to go buy a uh, concrete uh, creating HCL, but I will tell you this, it has made a difference for me. I did try using CGP, which was creating glycerol phosphate it's a product out there. Uh, I didn't enjoy it so much because it made me pee all the time. I mean, I literally, I literally would pee every two hours and I was drinking about a gallon of water a day and it became anywhere from 10 to 12 bathroom outings. So that's my take on it. I'm a big fan of creatine HCL. Uh, when I stopped taking Jim Stepani's post, as I told you before, I got Jim Stepani's pre gym pre and now I use that in my pre-workout which also has creatine HCL and I gotta admit that is freaking amazing as well um, and just to kind of make sure that my body is absorbing enough because I've kind of heard people say well even though you're putting two grams of HCL your body is still gonna attack it when it's being digested so actually what I do now is use the gym 
prayed to get my two grams of HCL in the morning and then in the evening I go ahead and take uh, two scoops which each scoop is 750 milligrams of creatine HCL. So I'm really getting 3.5. One of the questions that came in yesterday was how do I keep my heart rate monitored because I'm not wearing heart rate monitor. There's an app I got, I'm going to go ahead and post uh, the name of it below, but I pretty much use that every 10-15 minutes just to get an idea. You just put your finger on the front of your camera and it takes your heart rate for you. I gotta seriously figure out another way to do these post videos. But I'm trying to keep it real uh, rather than uh, go home and like produce it so it sounds cleaner and less stuttering and less nerves. I figure if I do it right here, you guys at home can see that uh, you know I'm pushing myself. It's just, I'm not preaching this for views. Uh, I'm not doing this for followers. I'm not doing this for subscriptions. I'm doing this because I'm trying to prove a point that even though you work 40 hour schedules, even though you gotta be, you have responsibilities of being a father, I have a four year old, even though you have responsibilities of being a husband if you're married, and dealing with everything else that surrounds your work, you cannot let yourself go. You can't, I did. Um, and I think a lot of a lot of fathers out there. I'm not comparing us to mothers and their responsibilities, but I think as a father, we always feel maybe we allow ourselves to feel a little overwhelmed with lies, and we start giving ourselves excuses. But uh, what I figured out is, the more I got into the gym, the better I felt about myself, and then but the better I felt about myself, the happier I was when I went home, and the better mood I was in when I went home. I was a better father, and I'm a better husband because of it. So I understand a lot of guys out there, and I know a lot of women too, feel like they're overwhelmed with life and that we keep making excuses of why we can't get to the gym or why we can't take care of ourselves. But uh, at the end of the day, we only have one life to live here, and we have to be a positive role model to the people that surround us as well, our children. And I don't want my kid to grow up with this idea of, you know, I didn't have my daddy play with me because I was always stuck on the TV or playing video games or doing what have you. I want him to remember his youth of saying, my father was active. My father went to the park and played with me. My dad always made my mom happy. And my dad always just seemed like a cool guy. And that's where I'm gonna end this video today. Stop making excuses, man or woman, father and husband. Get out there, take care of yourself, improve your health. And the result, you're going to become a much happier person and you're going to make the people around you. It's infectious. People around you are going to see how happy you are and they're going to ask you, what are you doing that just puts that glow on your face? And you can look at them with a little smile and say, 
I'm taking care of myself.